Today we're going to do a video, short video on replacing your clutch and or your sprocket on your John Stratt chainsaw model. This will cover models 2141, 2145, 2149, 2150, 2152, and 2153. First you want to remove the two bar nuts on your saw. First remove you want to the remove two nuts. the two bar nuts on your saw. Take your remove the two cover. nuts, pull it off. Take, take, take your side wrench, pull it off. Driver. Take your take bar wrench off. Four screwdriver for the bar. Take the tension remove off the bar and chain. For the bar, Next, lay the saw down. Remove the bar and chain. Next, twenty one forty one, twenty one forty five, twenty one twenty one forty one. Cover sealed on twenty one forty five. Cover sealed on twenty one forty nine. Cover sealed on twenty one forty nine. Twenty one forty three. Twenty one fifty three. Twenty one fifty nine. Sealed on twenty one fifty two. Snaps. Twenty one fifty three. Engage the chain break. Sealed on three. Quick release snaps. Lift the top cover off. Engage the chain break. Remove the top cover off. Remove the spark plug. Remove the spark plug wire. Remove the spark plug. This job requires a piston stop. It's screwed into this the job spark requires a piston hole. stop. It's screwed into the spark plug hole. Screw it in finger tight only. It requires a special tool tight only. spanner wrench, which is also in my e-commerce store. Spanner wrench, which is also in my e-commerce store. You'll take your bar wrench, stick it on there. Backwards thread. You'll take your bar turns wrench, to the right stick to it loosen. on there. Backwards thread. It turns to the right to loosen. Spin the clutch off. Pull your sprocket Spin off. Spin the clutch off. This is a two-piece drive system. sprocket off. It's used on the 2152. This is a two-piece drive system. It's used on the 2152. It can be used on the 2150s. It can be used on the 2140s. It requires a different drive show you the minute how to remove it. Drive it to rim for damage or wear. Remove it. Worn. Replace it to rim for damage or wear. If it's worn, the drive splines here. Replacing the drive splines here. The way this sprocket works. works. This is chain rise. The way this sprocket works. Rim here. It self it's chain lines itself up with a bar. It rim here. Back and forth. It here. Self and lines itself up with a bar. It also, you want to check your sprocket needle bearing. Also, you want to check your sprocket needle bearing. If there's any bearings missing or cracks, it needs to be replaced. If there's any bearings missing or cracks, it needs to be replaced. Slightly grease it. Take your screwdriver. Slightly grease it. Spread the grease around on the inside. Some on the outside. Spread the grease around on the inside. And some on the outside. Install this. You want to I'll remove you your warm drive gear for your oil pump. You want to remove your warm drive gear for your oil pump. Grooves here that drive on the grooves here to be more if you have any flat spots this part needs to be replaced more if you have any flat spots this is the only way needs to be the oil pump drives to get bar this is the only way comes out of the bar pad drives to get bar to your bar comes out of the bar pad going to your bar to reinstall this or when you're replacing it to reinstall this grease the worm drive replacing it with some grease grease the worm drive with some grease, it just pushes on there and slightly turn it. It meshes in it with the oil pump. It just pushes on there and slightly turn it. It meshes in with the oil pump. After your needle bearing has been greased, you install your needle bearing. After your needle bearing has been greased, install your needle sprocket if it needs a new rim. Install your sprocket if it needs a new rim. Make sure that it lines up there. the oil pump. Make sure that it lines up the gear. Oil pump. Drive. Take your new sprocket gear. Backward threads it spins on there. Sprocket. Backward threads it spins on there. Slightly hand tighten the sprocket yeah. clutch back onto the. Slightly hand tighten shaft. the sprocket remove. clutch back onto the. French shaft. Piston stop. Remove. You need to pull your rope out. The piston stop. Hold the rope. You need to pull your rope out. Screw your piston Hold stop the rope. back in. Screw your piston stop back in. Turn the engine over until the piston. Turn the engine the over. Stop. Until when that happens, you release the piston release stop. pull rope. When that happens, you release the pull rope. Install your clutch tool. Install this your does clutch not tool. To be, need to be over tightened. This does this not nice to be, need to be over tightened. This is nice and snug. Remove the piston stop. Install your spark plug and tighten. Remove the piston stop. Install your spark plug and tighten. Install your spark plug wire. Install your spark plug top wire. cover. Top cover on. Install your top snap cover on. Top cover on. Install the 2141. Snap cover on. If the saw is 2141, tighten the three screws for the top cover. You need to tighten your saw over. Take your chainsaw chain. Lay your saw over. 
install it back on the sprocket. Make sure it engages into the drive rim. Install it back on the sprocket. Make sure it engages into the drive rim. Make sure the bar. You'll take your bar. Hole. Make sure the bar. If not, it needs to be clean. Or hole is clean. If not, it needs to be clean. All the way back. Install the chain. Lay it on the saw. Push it all the way back. Bar install the chain. Your bar nuts. Adjust your bar cover. Your bar nuts. Chain. Adjust your tension. Chain. As soon as you start the saw. I recommend putting a bar and chain into a piece of wood. I recommend putting a bar and chain into a piece of wood for two seconds. This will properly proper. tighten your clutch up to your for two seconds. This will properly tighten your clutch up to all your crank All parts and all tools for this repair is in my e-tower store. Parts and all click tools for this repair is in my e-tower store. Click the John's model and list all the tools. Sprite to the model. Pump grab all the tools. The sprite bearing. Any power chain you might need, the needle bearing pump, any power chain you might need, or pump. Have any questions? My e-commerce store. Email me at parts at littleredbarn.net. Email me at parts at littleredbarn.net. Thank you very much.